Hi guys, welcome back to the next lesson. So in this lesson, we're going to take a look at marking our to-dos as complete. We want to switch them um, between the lists, whether they're complete or incomplete. So to do this, we need to make an API call to our backend to mark them as complete. Um, and then we also need to create some actions in our global context um, to allow them to switch between the lists and for us to manage the lists properly. So I'm going to switch back over to the code. I'm going to close off these tabs. We don't need to see those at the moment. I'm going to go straight to the to-do card as well. So essentially what we need to do is we need to wire up an on change event to this input. So this input, if we were to click on this, we want to change it as, um, we want to basically mark it as complete. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add an on change event. And we are going to, well, first of all, we need to create some functions. I'll, I'll do that afterwards. So we're going to make an on change event. I'm going to just put these on a new line for now to make it easier to read. If the to-do is already complete, or the to-do is incomplete, so to-do dot incomplete with an exclamation mark, we're going to call a function called mark as complete. Otherwise, we're going to call a function that is mark as incomplete. So depending on whether it's complete or not already, we can switch it between the two lists. So let's create these functions. Const mark as complete is going to take in e and event. And we're going to do e dot prevent default, and I'm going to copy and paste this um, for now. This basic function to mark it as incomplete. Okay, so essentially what we need to do at this point is we need to make API calls to the to our backends to mark them as complete or incomplete. So I need to import Axios from Axios. And when I click mark as complete, I need to make an API call to Axios. I'm going to do axios.put. Something else was input. Ah, okay, I made a typo in my import there. So I'll, I'll remove that. So I'm going to do axios.put. We're going to use template literals here. Slash API slash to do's because we need to pass in the current to do dot underscore ID. So to do that, I've gone dollar sign curly brackets to do underscore ID to access the ID and complete. I'm going to do a that dot then event, which is going to be an arrow function with res. And we are going to do um, a action. We basically need to call an action on our global context, which is going to be called uh, to do complete. I'm going to pass in the res dot data. That's the data that's sent back from the API. Of course, we haven't created this action yet, but I'm going to put it there as a placeholder. So I'll comment it out. I'm going to copy and paste this and I'm going to mark, do this for our incomplete one. So I'm going to change the API call from complete to incomplete. And this is going to be to do incomplete is going to be our action there, but we haven't created those yet. So we're going to create those um, on the global context. So I'm going to save this. Got no errors. Okay, brilliant. So on our global context, we need to create a, um, action called to do complete we're going to be passed the new to do from the api that was sent through so the to do is going to be passed into this um, action so and what what we need to do is we then need to remove the to do from the incomplete list and then we need to move it to the complete list so what we're going to do here is we're going to dispatch and it's going to be a type of set underscore incomplete to do's so we're going to update our to do's with the reduce we, we've already got um we've already got that action here. So what we're going to do, our payload is going to be, um, we're going to filter through our existing incomplete to do's, we're going to find one with the same idea, I'm going to remove that from the incomplete to do's. So we're going to do state dot incomplete to do's dot filter, I'm going to filter those out. So we're going to have an arrow function, which is going to be taking a parameter of incomplete, I'm going to do that to make it more readable for now. It's going to be an incomplete to do. We want to check that the incomplete, we only want to return to do's, but the incomplete to do is not equal to the to do we are passing in ID. Oh, the incomplete to do's ID is not equal to this one. So that's going to filter through. It's going to filter through and return every single ID that does not have the same ID as the to do we pass in. I then need to do, I then need to push this um, incomplete to do into the new 
um, I need to push this into the complete to do's list. So I'm going to dispatch again. This time the type is going to be set complete to do's payload. And what we're going to do is similar to what we did with a new to do instead, but instead we're going to add that to do to dot 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 slash state dot complete to do's. So we're taking our new to do or it's not a new to do our updated to do and we're pushing it to the front of the complete to do's. So you can see the incomplete to do's here. That's exactly what we did there, but we put them into a new to do into the incomplete. Um, we know that our complete to do's are sorted by, um, they're currently sorted by the uh, date they were completed at. So we know that this, this new to do is always going to be at, at the front of that list, at the top of that list. So we, we've done everything we need to do here. So we can then output that, output that action to do complete. And that means we can then access that action on our to do card. So we're not actually using the global context yet. So we're going to import use global context from dot dot slash context slash global context. I'm going to destructure and const um, what was the function name to do complete it was called so to do complete is equal to use global context there. So now we can uncomment this to do complete. Now that we're making use of it, we're importing the action here and this action should work here. So if I hover over one of these, I haven't got any hover effects yet on the, um, on the input type of checkbox. I want to add a hover effect. So if I go to my styling, input type equals checks check check box and colon hover cursor pointer see if that works yeah so we've got a nice hover effect now so when i mark this one as complete it then jump jumps to the top of the complete to do's which is brilliant so we now need to do the um we need now need to make the action for to do incomplete it's similar um but it does need some changes from this one so I'm not even going to copy and paste it actually that will get confusing so I'm just going to const to do incomplete and it's going to we're going to pass in the to do so what we need to do is we need to do the filter but this time we need to filter it from the complete to do's because we're, we're going to be clicking this button it's going to move it back to this list over here so we need to filter the complete to do's so dispatch type of set complete to do's where well, the payload is states dot complete to do's dot filter complete to do and we're going to return complete to do where we're going to return all the objects where the complete to do ID is not equal to the to do dot ID that we pass in. So that's the first step done. That's a basic step of, of removing it from the complete to do's. However, it's not as easy as it is here um, where we need to put it back into the incomplete to do's. The reason being is that uh, on this one, the complete to do's, um, so as we said earlier, the new to do, the new complete to do is always going to be on the top because they're sorted by most recently completed. But the incomplete to do's are sorted by the date created. We can't just stick the um, old to do at the top of that list because it might not be in the right place in that list. It might have been created somewhere in the middle here. So what we need to do is we need to do a comparison. We need to sort through our array and make sure we put our element back in the correct. Uh, we need to make sure we put our um, to do back in the correct space. So we're going to make a copy here. We're going to make a new um, const that's going to be called new incomplete to do's. And what we're doing here is we're going to make a copy of the existing to do's. We're going to add our to do in here. So we're going to add our to do in here as it is. And we're also going to add in the current incomplete to do's from the state. However, we, we don't necessarily know that this is sorted correctly. So we're now going to dispatch our type and we're going to do our sort inside of our dispatch. So just uh, type set um, incomplete to do's. Well, the payload, we're going to do new incomplete to do's dot sort. 
Now what we're going to do a sort function where we're going to check each to do and we're going to sort it in order of the date they were created. So we're going to have a new sort function. We're going to pass in A and B, and this basically means we're going to compare one array element to another array element. And we're going to compare new date B dot created at, that's the created at timestamp added to each to do, minus new date A dot created at. And what that's going to do is it's going to compare the two created at dates and it's going to sort it by the date created at. So it's not too much more complex, but it is it's that bit we have to um, consider. So I'm now going to export that. We've now completed our action, so I'm going to uh, export that action, add it to the value so we can add it to our provider. I can go back to our to-do card. I can also import the action here, to-do incomplete. And I can uncomment this bit of code. And in theory, we should be able to mark these as complete and incomplete. So if I mark do homework as complete, it will appear at the top. If I uncheck it, it then appears back in the space where it's meant to. You see what I mean? Well, we couldn't put it at the top now. We have to try it. We have to sort it and make sure it goes back in the order it was created at. We don't want this appearing just randomly at the top or the bottom because it wouldn't be in the right order. So if I do the click that, that's going to end up in the right place. If I click this one, it's going to undo it there and it puts them all in the back place. So that's our marking them as incomplete and complete. That was a nice, um, easy lesson, that one, and a nice quick one. Um, the next lesson we're going to update and we're going to delete our to-dos. And that pretty much, after that, sums up the final, you know, finalized bit of our application. We'll update and delete our to-dos, um, but then we'll also go through the whole project, test it out, try and register as a new user, add to-dos and all of this stuff. And we're going to properly manage and have a look at how our application works. So I'll leave you guys to it and I will catch you in the next one.